Hello and welcome to a new chapter of mathematics based on relations and functions. A bit about relations and their sets have been already discussed in class 11th and today we shall be discussing about relations. Later we are going to discuss the types of relations and finally we shall conclude the first lecture based on relations and functions by discussing a numerical problem that would be based on the concepts that we are going to study in the coming segment of this lecture. So we start the lecture by discussing the definition of a relation and we can say that a relation R on a set A is a subset of A into A. Now for this we are going to consider an example for where A consists of elements 1, 2, 3, 5 and B contains 2 and 4 as its element. Then A into B is equal to a set of 1 and 2, 1 and 4, 2 and 2, 2 and 4, 3 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 2, 5 and 4. Now here we can obtain a subset of A into B by introducing a relation is less than between the elements of sets of A and B. Now if we have a relation is less than then R is equal to the pair of numbers as shown which consist of 1 and 2, 1 and 4, 2 and 4 and 3 and 4. Thus the relation R which is is less than from the set A to set B gives rise to a subset R of A into B such that XY belongs to R with the condition that x is related to y that is x is less than y. Now we are going to discuss the representation of a relation. Now a relation can be represented in three different forms. First one is Rosser form, second is set builder form and third one is by arrow diagram. So we are going to start by discussing the Rosser form. In this form, a relation is represented by the set of all ordered pairs which belong to the given function. For example, let us suppose A consisting of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and B consisting of elements 1 to 20. And let us suppose R be the relation which is given as has as its square from A to B then the relation R is given as the pairs consisting of elements 1 and 1, 2 and 4, 3 and 9 and 4 and 16. Next we are going to discuss the set builder form. In this form the relation is represented as x, y where x belongs to set A, y belongs to set B and the rule by which x is associated with y. Here the blank is to be replaced by the rule which associates x and y. For example, let us suppose A to be the set consisting elements 1, 3, 4, 5, 7 and B having its elements as 2, 4, 6, 8 and let R be the relation 1 less than then R in set builder form is represented as shown consisting of xy where x belongs to A, y belongs to B and x is 1 less than y. Next we are going to find out that how a relation can be represented by an arrow diagram. Now in this form the relation is represented by drawing arrows from the first components to the second components of all ordered pairs which belong to the given relation. For example, let us consider A equal to 1, 2, 3, 5 and B consisting of elements 2, 3, 4 and R be the relation which is is greater than from A to B then R is equal to the ordered pairs consisting of elements 3 and 2, 5 and 2, 5 and 3 5 and 4. Now this relation R from A to B can be represented by the arrow diagram as shown. Now here the set A consists of elements 1, 2, 3, 5 
and B contains two, three, four as its element. Now, as we know that the relation which is is greater than specifies and gives us the ordered pairs of R as shown. Now, since three is related to two, therefore we draw an arrow from three to two. Similarly, five is related to two. So we have drawn an arrow from 5 to 2. Next we have the relation between 5 and 3. Now we have drawn another arrow from 5 to 3. The last pair connects 5 to 4. Thus we have drawn another arrow from 5 to 4. Thus by the use of this arrow diagram we have represented the given relation which was is greater than for the given sets A and B. Next, we are going to discuss the types of relations. So, starting with the basic or the first type of relation, which is reflexive relation, a relation in which every element is related to itself is known as reflexive relation. For example, if we consider x to be a number, then it is equal to x that is itself, thus, is equal to is a reflexive relation next we are going to discuss the symmetric relation a relation r is symmetric if and only if x is related by r to y then y is related by r to x for example if we consider john to be the cousin of bill then bill is obviously cousin of john this relation represents the symmetric relation Next, we are going to consider a transitive relation. A relation R is transitive if and only if X is related by R to Y and Y is related by R to Z, then X is related by R to Z. For this, we are going to consider another example in which we use the relation is taller than. Now, here if John is taller than Bill and Bill is taller than Fred, then it can be made out that John is taller than Fred. Thus, this relation which is is taller than represent a transitive relation. Next, we are going to consider equivalence relation. A relation R is said to be equivalence if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. For example, if X is identical to Y and Y is identical to Z, then this implies that x is identical to z also. Thus, is identical to represent an equivalence relation. Next, we are going to discuss a problem that would be based on the relations. Now, here the problem says that if a is equal to 1, 2, 3, b is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and relation r is equal to x, y, where xy belongs to a into b and y is equal to x plus 1. Then we have to find the elements of a into b, express r in roster form. Later we are required to find the domain and range of r and finally we are required to represent r by an arrow diagram. Now as required in the problem, first we are required to find the elements of A into B, which are 1 and 1, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 2 and 1, 2 and 2, 2 and 3, 2 and 4, 3 and 1, 3 and 2, 3 and 3 and 3 and 4. Next, we are going to express the relation R in roster form. Thus, we can write R as consisting of elements 1 and 2. 2 and 3 and 3 and 4. Now these values are obtained by substituting y equal to x plus 1 where x and y belong to a into b. Next we are going to find the domain of r which is obtained as x where x belong to set a and xy belong to relation r for some y belonging to b. Thus, we have domain of this relation R as 1, 2, 3. Next, we are going to find the range of relation R 
which is equal to y where y belongs to b and xy belong to relation r for some x belonging to a thus we have the range of r as 2 3 4 next we are required to express relation r in form of arrow diagram for this let us consider set a and set b as represented in this form now here the relation r which is as specified in this equation let's say equation number one associates the elements of a and b thus as specified by this equation we have one of a associated with two of b thus we have drawn an arrow from one of a to two of b similarly we have two of a associated with three of b so we draw another arrow from two to three of a and b respectively next we have three of a connected to four of b thus we have another arrow that associates the element of a which is three to the element of b which is four does this diagram represent the arrow diagram of the given relation which is specified in the equation number one with this we conclude the lecture based on relations and functions in which we discussed about the relations and their types